guys, how you doing tonight? Good? Good. All right, first time, second time at the Story Slam. I'll start out with, uh, I was about 16 and got my license, finally. That was great. And needed money for the insurance, needed money for the almighty gas pump. And so I started looking around. My dad told me uh, there was no better uh, career opportunity for me than the restaurant industry. So, of course, I went into that because he was a bartender. He made a lot of money that way. You know, you make a lot of money that way. So, I started out, uh, first, just first had my license, went to TGI Fridays in Exton with my friends, had all intentions of applying for a job there. We got in there, we got seated, and I was like, oh, I don't know about this. And uh, forgot to mention, we didn't have any money. So, I wasn't really trying to apply at that point. Uh, I was just trying to get out of there. So we have this nice looking uh, waiter. He's got a ponytail. He looks a lot like Marky Mark in Boogie Days, or Boogie Nights, but he's got a ponytail. He's, na he's you know, telling us stories about some naggy lady at the booth next to us. And you know, he's buddy buddy with us. And we're sitting there like, God damn it. Uh, I have to walk out on this guy. And it's a $37 check. It's not much, but at the time we were thinking, like, oh, this is, you know, the sky's falling. So we run out of there. We, uh, we think we're the coolest guys in the world because we got the getaway uh, minivan and uh, <laughs> get that out on the 202 when we get away. But we probably had some of the worst remorse of uh, our lives that night. But uh, so anyway, I kept plugging away at finding a job. I got a job at Bonefish Grill in Edgemont. Uh, I was told that they weren't looking for waiters at the time. So I just took the busing job. Next week, two very attractive young women got jobs as waitresses. And I said to the manager, I was like, you know, what the hell? He's like, well, you know. And he was like, OK, buddy, I know what's going on here. Like, so you know, my dad did tell me to get into it because of the tips. You know, you make money that way. But he didn't tell me that I am at a little bit of a disadvantage because I don't have long, flowing blonde or brunette hair. I only wear a sports bra, and I'm not a woman. So <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't what most restaurants were looking for. So I bust for a while, you know. And then I, I had some crazy experiences with all that and everything. But anyway, I finally uh, started applying to be a waiter again. And because uh, the, the bonefish guy, no, he, he only went for tens. But, you know, it's all right. I'm an eight, so you know, it's not too bad. So uh, I uh, get a job waitering TJ Fridays. Not the one in Exton, it's in Chad's Ford. But uh, midway through the summer, our GM got fired, so we got a new general manager. And uh, with him, he brings in his new management team, and you know, I come in there. I'm, at this point, I've been working there a couple of months, I'm kind of the man, so I kind of walk in with a swagger and I see, oh my God, there's Marky Mark. And I was like, I was like, I was like, and he's, he's not Marky Mark from Boogie Nights. He's Marky Mark in the Eagles helmet from Invincible. And he's, he's got a scowl on his face and you know, he's not looking directly at me, but he didn't seem like a happy guy. So I walk up, uh, GM goes to introduce me to him. I am shaking in my boots like, oh man, I am about to get fired maybe Something worse, I don't know. So I go up to him, I meet him. I don't even think he remembers me. So I, I go along with my business, and one night, uh, Justine, another manager, I ask her, I'm like, Justine, like, did Joe ever work at Friday's Exton and, like, as a waiter? And she's like, yeah, yeah, he used to work there about four, four years ago. I'm 20, and I, this, this happened when I was 16, the dine and ditch. So I was like, hmm, four years ago, mm, that's funny. I was like, did you work there with him? And she's like, yeah, I was the manager. And uh, I was like, hmm, OK. Uh, did he have a ponytail? And she starts cracking up. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I was just like, this can't be him, right? Come on, please, please, please tell me it can't be him. And uh, so sh we end up figuring out it's him. I ripped him off. So the next time I worked with him, I'm in the back, counting out the money. Give him. I probably owed him, say I owed him 240. I give him two, uh, 277. He counts and I'm like, Matt, what's this uh, extra 37 for? Uh, what the hell? Like, and because he's not, he's not a very approachable guy. And uh, I was like, um, that's from when I uh, dined and ditched on you when I was 16. <laughs> and he looked at me like he's like, I was only dined and ditched once. He's like, it wasn't you. I was like, yeah, it was. He's like, 
really. I was like, yeah. I was like, I didn't have a beard then. It was four years ago. And like, then I kind of remember, I reminded him with, uh, I was like, yeah, I was the guy that, as you turned to look at us when we were walking out the door, I waved at you. <laughs> so he's looking at me like, this can't be serious. And uh, that's how I got this black eye. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That actually happened from similar career opportunity over the weekend. I'm at a party in Westchester, the university. And, uh, you know, I'm a server, you know, by trade. That's what I know. So I go over and I become the party refreshment server. I'm pumping the keg. And uh, I got clocked. So I'm thinking that serving's probably not for me. And I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. Just make sure that you guys pay your bill and tip generously, because now I'm in that business. And if anyone walked out on me, I would chase them out the door. <laughs>